Hey guys, check out SSF TV and subscribe for free. With your help, they have created a new platform designed by physicians for physicians. They have the most up-to-date content from the world's best physicians and top institutions. The platform is so well organized. And everyone is using it, giving you real-time access to physicians around the world. Plus, with the app, I can download and watch on the go. I absolutely love it. This is more of an intro talk to endoscopic hip surgery as opposed to um, kind of, a, there's a little bit of anatomy in it, but it's more like how do you get, it's really a how to get started talk. Um, so just going through the basics, um, these are some of the topics that I'm going to try to cover today. And then I'm going to go through a few cases just to kind of give you some examples of, of where, what the utility of this, of this tool is. And I, I really want to emphasize that it is a tool and I still use the microscope frequently for a lot of different, uh, otologic, uh, cases. Um, I don't think, you know, one is going to replace the other. Um, I think it's just like, uh, it, like, like anything, um, you know, having having tools or new tools can you know you have to kind of make your own judgment on them but um until you use them you really can't make that judgment so um I, i've kind of adopted the endoscope for a lot of a lot of my chronic ear practice and and hopefully by the end of this talk you'll have an idea of what, what where it may be useful in your practice so just as a background this is a, a classic kind of slide you'll see some in some um, endoscopic articles, some of the early literature, basically, kind of really demonstrating where where the real benefit is. So, um, I don't know if you can see my pointer here, but um, from a traditional transcanal microscopic approach, you are looking down the canal, and your 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 view is going to be limited by the the narrowest portion of the canal. You can sometimes get a little bit of angulation with the scope and and look around the middle ear and get a decent view. And again, the microscope is you know, perfectly ad adequate in, in doing that. But there are some hidden spaces that are just more difficult to see, particularly things like the sinus tympani, the pro tympanum, um, and some parts of the epi tympanum that you, unless you remove some bone in front of you, you really can't see those structures. Um, the other thing is that when you zoom in with the microscope, the amount of light that uh, is going into the field actually gets reduced. And so by using the endoscope on this image right here with my pointer. Hey guys, thanks for watching. To continue, please log in or create an account for free. Thank you for your support.